Are you ready? From the Pete Taronis Gym in Carbondale, it's time for a Lackawanna League Division III basketball as the Holy Cross Crusaders take on the Carbondale Area Chargers. All brought to you today by Adams Cable Service, NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield, by McGovern Insurance Agency, Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, by Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center, Tom's Floor Shop, your first step to a beautiful home, Main Street Childs, by your local Napa Auto Parts store, Carbondale Auto Parts, Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, and your starting lineups are presented today by the Roselle Department Store. Alongside Glenn Muskowski, Nick Homick from Frankie Carl Productions on camera, and Kyle Kemmerer at the Adams Cable Studio, I'm Steve Young. Great to have you on board tonight for high school basketball as Carbondale area will take on Holy Cross. Carbondale area will bring an overall mark of six wins and five losses into tonight's contest and a Division Three record of two wins and one loss, while the Crusaders overall, they are at seven and four and a Division Three mark of two wins and no losses. So, when in the junior varsity game, Carbondale got off to a good start against Holy Cross, but the tenacious defense of Holy Cross really paid dividends, and the Crusaders won the junior varsity contest 51-29. to In the varsity contest, Glenn, Carbondale will be faced with that very, very good Holy Cross yeah, defense. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to see a little bit of change of defense. They'll see some man-to-man, -man, a lot of pressure. They'll see some zone press, and they'll have to just work their way through it. But since the league began, Steve, uh, two seniors, uh, really, that's been starting the last couple of years, uh, Mike Cesare and Pat Durkin, really upped their game a little bit. Uh, Mike is averaging about 17 points, and uh, Pat Durkin's averaging 10. And Jeff Catchmore, the last game, had five threes. He had a phenomenal offensive game, all right? Uh, so these, these seniors are going to have to lead this uh, this charge against an aggressive team and you'll see it you'll see it all night long and and, and uh, holy cross won't give up with the pressure defense well for carbondale taking a look at uh their games they played this year they won two to start the season against elk lake and forest city then they went on a two-game losing streak to weston valley view they won two in a row over the foresters and susquehanna and then they lost two once again to valley view and mid valley and then they got on the winning streak with the win over Riverside, 61 to 60. They lost to Dunmore by six, and they recently defeated Old Forge, 63 to 43. For Holy Cross, they started off with a three-game winning streak over Mountain View, Pittston area, and Valley View. Then they lost three in a row to Nanticoke, Dallas, and Holy Redeemer. They defeated Dunmore in overtime, 73-66. They lost to Prep, 63-36. And they have won their last three over Susquehanna, Old Forge, and Lakeland. So here tonight, it's Carbondale and Holy Cross. And whenever you go up against the team coached by Al Calais, you're going to be uh, facing a lot of heat. Yeah, you're going to, you're going to put, they're going to put a lot of pressure on Carbondale. And Carbondale is going to have to just... Quite honestly, they need to have to know when to go and when to slow. I guess it's a better way to say it, right? Know when to go and know when to slow it down. Because Carbondale has a tendency to just run wild out there sometimes, and they'll just try to go to the basket no matter what. Well, the other day, I was talking to someone during the game, and I said, I haven't seen very many teams come down and stop, jump stop, and hit, two, hit some jump shots. Well, I, I turned around, and Carbondale did that. And so now... They're, they're starting to get into the flow. They're playing more aggressively defensively, and they're hitting the, and they're rebounding really well. So this could be, end up being a great game as long as they don't panic against the pressure from uh, Holy Cross. Both teams continue to warm up on the court for the start of today's ball game, and we will take a break. And when we return, more pregame highlights on today's Lackawanna League Division Three matchup between Holy Cross and Carbondale on Adams Cable High School Basketball. How much bandwidth will satisfy your home's hunger? The average household now uses seven wireless devices a day, including TVs, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. HD streaming and gaming can use large amounts of data and slow down speeds for other users. The more devices you use, the more bandwidth your home needs. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. 
Get up to 120 megabits per second internet from Adam's Cable Service. It's a speed you need to power all your devices. Call today. If you've been dreaming about modernizing your living space, Tom's Floor Shop and Childs is ready to make those dreams a reality. Tom's Floor Shop offers a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, laminate, vinyl, ceramic tile, and professional installation. Style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a personalized touch by Tom's Floor Shop. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. A trip to Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale means you get confidence and peace of mind knowing that your vehicle is repaired by qualified technicians. Jerry's offers brand name tires and wheel alignment, brake service, oil changes, computer diagnostics, and Pennsylvania safety inspection and emissions testing. Call 282-TIRE or visit their website jerrystire at gmail.com. For dependable, efficient service, visit Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. When your car does this, call us first. Every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. That's the motto at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale. In an accident, remember, it is your car and your choice to choose your repair center. Call Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale, well known for integrity, safety, and craftsmanship. For more information concerning your rights and the 10 things you need to know before having your car repaired, go to their website, bestinsautobody.com. Good luck to all area teams. From Tony, Mike, Jeff, and the staff at Bestins Auto Body and Collision Center, Gordon Avenue, Carbondale. The Gabriel family and the staff at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated of Carbondale send best wishes to our local athletes and teams for a successful season. In your time of need, call 282-1219 for the ultimate in professional service from Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. Napa know how. Napa know how. Your local Napa dealer, Carbondale Auto Parts, has been serving the area for over 38 years with quality automotive replacement parts, tools, and accessories. Experience the Napa know-how difference with great service you've come to know and trust from the staff at Carbondale Auto Parts, your Napa know-how folks. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team at NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield, online at njsco.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Back at the Pete Taronis Gym, Holy Cross and Carbondale area set to rock and roll here on this Friday night. And now the starting lineups for today's game presented by Roselle Department Store in Carbondale where the new line of spirit wear is on display for your favorite team in all sizes for Lakeland, Carbondale area, Forest City, LaSalle Academy, Holy Cross and Valley View. Going to a formal affair or a special event? Let the experience and fashion advice of Sam Kalura work for you with a perfectly tailored tuxedo by Sarno & Son. Also available at Roselle, prompt laundry and dry cleaning services. 
finishes. It is easy to look your best with apparel from Roselle Department Store in Carbondale, where Sam and the staff are proud to present your starting lineups for today's Lackawanna League Division Three matchup between the Crusaders of Holy Cross and the Carbondale Area Chargers. And now we are going to turn things over to public address announcer Carm Perry for the introductions and your starting lineups. Ready to rock and roll in Carbondale with high school basketball, Lackawanna League Division Three action between the Crusaders of Holy Cross and the Carbondale Area Chargers. Carbondale will be dressed in their all-white uniforms as they get set for the start of today's game. 
Carbondale area coming into this ball game overall through 11 games, averaging about 51 points a ball game while allowing 50. The Holy Cross Crusaders averaging offensively about 56 points a ball game, defensively allowing about 49. So here we go, friends. Great to have you on board tonight for Adams Cable High School Basketball. Well, I see Tom Monteford on the floor. He's starting tonight. Uh, Looks like he put a little few pounds on over over the summer and the winter. So he's gonna, I'm sure Coach Kaleos will run that right off him. <laughs> and for Holy Cross, Leahy O'Connor, Jaheem Brooker. And the opening tip will go to Holy Cross and they will shoot at the basket to our left. Barbanel in his zone. Here's Kaleos working the offense and they get it in the lane. Back outside they go and Around the perimeter, Holy Cross will be pretty patient offensively. Baseline, they'll go from the corner. Here's a shot by Burrier. It rims out. The putback is up and won't fall by O'Connor. And the ball is taken away by Brooker of Carbondale area. Jaheim Brooker at six foot four. He's only a sophomore. Takes the rebound away, and Carbondale will bring it the other way. And running the floor show is Mike Zazera. And they go underneath to Durkin for an easy basket. And Carbondale takes a 2-0 lead. Nice pass, right open, good shot. Carbondale area, defensively with Zazera out on Calais. <coughs> and in the corner, O'Connor, they'll kick it back outside. Here's Montefiore on a drive, the scoop shot wouldn't fall. He puts it back and scores. Took it away from Brooker, and we're tied at two. Now Mike Cesaro on a strolling dribble. Defended by Burrier. Durkin, top of the key. And uh, there's uh, Holy Cross in their pressures, uh, man to man. Got to be patient. Ray Offner on a bounce pass to Catchmore, and they'll reset it. Catchmore had a scream going. I thought he was going to pull the trigger, Glenn, and this time he will. Got it! From downtown, Catchmore scores, and Carbondale has a 5-2 advantage. That's what uh, Jeff Cashmore has to do for Carbondale. He has to find a way to get some shots outside, because once he gets inside, it's going to be tough because of his stature. So he's going to have to pass the ball when he gets inside, move the ball around, and look for the shot when he has it. Montefiore gives it up. Burrier sees an opening. He'll launch the shot, won't fall. Ball's tipped around, Carbondale has it. Brooker with the rebound. Outlet pass goes to Zazera. Zazera cut off by the Holy Cross defense. Zazera thought about a drive, now he will work it back outside. Catch more, goes right side to Ray Offner. Offner driving the baseline, uh, stepped out of bounds and turns it over, uh, no foul. He pushed off with the left hand. I don't think it uh, would have made a difference anyway on the drive, Glenn, he got, he got Called for the foul, that's the first on Offner and the first yeah. team foul, but I think he stepped out of bounds also. So Carbondale gives it up to Holy Cross, and the Crusaders break open Montefiore for an easy bucket. And it's 5-4, Carbondale by one. You gotta, move a, with this. you gotta move that zone if you want to. You got to be ready to move that zone. You can't wait until the ball, pa ball is passed. You have to anticipate. And Carbondale throws it away. 5-4, your score. See, Carbondale by one with 5.04 to play here that, in the first. That's what Carbondale has to cut down, those unforced turnovers. Terror, not a good pass. Like, there's no play, there's no way. If, even if he caught the ball, he was coming out going towards half court. Montefiore with the move in the lane. Oh. Here's the rolling hook, too heavy. Ball's tipped around, Montefiore got it back. A long three, won't fall for Holy Cross. And Carbondale has the rebound, Offner. Out to Zazera. In transition, the Chargers with Catchmore running the offense now. Defended by Calais. That's a great battle going on right there at center court, Glenn. Catchmore with the move, the pull up. This is going to be off the mark. It goes out of bounds, and Holy Cross will have the possession. See, Jeff's got to understand that uh, when that hand is up, you, you, you either got to go all the way uh, if he's playing you that tight or just bring it back out. That, that, that was kind of like a force shot. You don't need that kind of shot. There's a ball tipped by Carbondale. 
And Holy Cross will have the basketball on the inbound. Caleb Calais, 5'9", Jr., puts the ball in play, and Kieran Burrier will set it up. Calais takes control at center court. 5-4, Carbondale by one. Wide open Calais, they'll go to the corner. Burrier with an open look. Off the rim, Durkin with the rebound. Outlet pass, Zazera, the fast break is on. The shot, yes! Wow, should have been a foul also. 7-4, Carbondale. Carmadale has been running the floor really well the last couple of games, Steve. If you're looking to get the ball out, you know, and when you do that, you will throw the ball away on occasion. But, uh, Inside they go, Burrier back out. A 15-foot jumper will not fall for O'Connor. Coming the other way in transition, it is Catchmore, defended by Burrier. 324 to play, first quarter, 7-4, Carbondale area. Catchmore puts on the brakes, and there's a steal. Mozaleski to the basket. The layup rolls off the iron. Ball's rebounded by Catchmore. Catchmore will dish it off right side. Zazera, the pull-up jumper. He's fouled. Well, Jeff, with that turnover there, as outside turned his back to the basket. You can't turn your back to the basket out that far. You've got to be able to see everything because once he turns his back, uh, you don't know where the defenders are. Personal right. foul Simple. is called on Caleb Calais. That is his first and the team's first. Mike Cesare on the stripe, a 64% free throw shooter. Carbondale as a team shooting at 62%. This one off the front iron. And in transition, here's Holy Cross. Calais will fire the pass. Montefiore on a drive, gives it up. Burrier back to Montefiore with the open look, and he scores. Holy Cross trails by one, seven to six. Now Mike Cesaro will run the Carbondale offense. Cesaro with a left hand, had it knocked away. Good defense by Montefiore. Yeah, well, you got to protect the basketball out there. Keegan Durkin in the ball game, wearing number 25 for Carbondale. And now, the Chargers go to work offensively, leading by one. A double team on the far side pays dividends for Holy Cross. O'Connor down to Calais. Here's the shot rejected inside. Holy Cross will get another opportunity. Burrier with the pull up short. Battle for the ball, players hit the deck, who will have it, jump ball, Carbondale possession. Yep. Well, if you look at, you're wondering how Montefiore is feeling? He has three offensive rebounds and all the points for, for Holy Cross so far. So he's doing, he's got a good game going for himself. Yeah, it's good to see him back on the sure court. Is, sure it is, you don't want to see anybody lose their senior year because of an injury. That is, that is sad no matter what. Cesera looks for help. Finds Durkin, defended by O'Connor. Catchmore surveys the defense of Holy Cross. There's a ball tipped away by Montefiore. Keegan Bradley, uh, Keegan uh, Durkin is playing two, he's playing on the bottom side of the block. There's, there's nothing there. I'd let him get the ball down there if they want to throw it there. Carbondale by one, seven to six at the 150 mark here in quarter number one. And the Chargers will inbound the basketball. Keegan Durkin along the baseline. I don't know what's going on there. Yep, foul. Foul called on Carbondale. Wow. Jaim Brooker called for the personal foul. That's his first and the team's second. Holy Cross goes to work. And it's half court off. You gotta leave him out there. Let him stay out there. Just pack it in and move on, move with the ball. No, you can't let that happen. Montefiore yeah. thought about a 15 footer. We'll give it up. Open look by Calais. And that's a three pointer. And the Holy Cross Crusaders take a 9 7 advantage. Harbin Hill's not moving on this, uh, on their right side of the zone. They're not moving with the ball when the ball's passed. Cesaro will bounce past it on the far side. Catchmore hemmed in. They work it out to Brooker. 
Brooker threw it away, threw it into traffic. Here comes Holy Cross on the break and a foul. Nine seven, Holy Cross leads Carbondale with 59 seconds remaining here in quarter number one. Tyler Mozaleski, six foot one senior on the charity stripe for the Crusaders, a 65% free throw shooter. And it's a 10 7 ball game. Personal foul, that last personal foul was called on Keegan Durkin. That's his first, team's third. Holy Cross as a team shooting at 67% from the free throw line. Two in a row, 11 to seven, the Crusaders. Now it is Keegan Durkin working the offense right to the basket, short on the layup. Could have gotten called for traveling, Glenn. That looked yeah, like well, a travel. Plus the fact that he, he, uh, he also went too, too deep. Calais from downtown misfires. Carbondale coming the other way with the basketball as Mike Zazera, the senior guard at six foot, will run the offense. And there's a foul. That's Calais' second. That's the third team foul on Holy Cross. 28.5 seconds to play here in quarter number one at the big gym, the Pete Taronis gym in Carbondale. 11 to 7. The Crusaders lead it. And Keegan Durkin, looking to put the ball in play, finds Catchmore. James Calciano will defend against Catchmore. Spin move. Catchmore gives it up. Almost taken away by Mozaleski. Boy, they've, that defense has yeah. Carbondale pushed way out past the three-point line with 11 seconds on the clock. Carbondale has to break somebody open under the basket. Well, Cesaro gotta... with six on the clock. Here's the move to the hoop, dishing off underneath, and they throw it away with 1.6 seconds remaining. See, if they come in under control, jump stop, take that shot, there it is. I mean, they're forcing, they're trying to force the action. Inbound pass will go to Burrier at the buzzer. Shot is off the mark, and that brings an end to quarter number one in today's Lackawanna League Division Three matchup with Holy Cross leading Carbondale 11 to seven. As when your car does this. Call us first. Every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. That's the motto at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale. In an accident, remember, it is your car and your choice to choose your repair center. Call Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale, well known for integrity, safety, and craftsmanship. For more information concerning your rights and the 10 things you need to know before having your car repaired, go to their website, bestinsautobody.com. Good luck to all area teams. From Tony, Mike, Jeff, and the staff at Bestins Auto Body and Collision Center, Gordon Avenue, Carbondale. Back in Carbondale, set for a second quarter action with Holy Cross leading Carbondale area 11 to seven. The Crusaders will have the basketball on the inbound to start quarter number two. O'Connor will give it up to try to spring a person under, open under the basket and from downtown, Mozaleski knocks down the three. 14 to seven, Holy Cross. Well, they got to move with the basketball. They're just getting there too late. Cesara drives to the basket and didn't get it to fall. Rebound goes to Burrier. Outlet O'Connor. He'll give it up. Burrier on a drive. Mozaleski. Guarded now by Cesara. And Mozaleski will work it back out near the center court circle and reset the offense. Shot under the basket by Leahy O'Connor. And the Holy Cross turns it over. He traveled. Shuffle the feet. 14 to 7. Holy Cross leads it. With one minute gone by here in quarter number two as Mike Cesaro will set it up. Keegan Durkin. In some traffic, Durkin from downtown, got it. 
Pat Durkin, six foot senior guard, scores for Carbondale. And the Holy Cross lead is down to four, 14 to 10. That was better movement with the basketball that time. O'Connor, short jumper, off the mark. Battle for the ball, the putback is up and good by Kieran Burrier. Got to be a little tougher on the boards. Averaging about 15 points a ball game as Zazera pulls up with a short jumper and nails it. 16 to 12 as Carbondale answers with a basket. Got to get that rebound and, and, and secure it. Now the Crusaders around the perimeter. Left side, Mozaleski dishes off. Outside shot won't fall for Holy Cross. And coming the other way, the fast break is on for Carbondale. Cesara pull up jumper short uh, and he, into the hands of Holy Cross. James Calciano gives it up. Burrier got it. Kieran Burrier with the basket. Eighteen to twelve, Holy Cross as. But Carbondale looks under the basket to Ray Offner. And there's a foul called on the Crusaders. Pat Benny called for the personal foul. That's his first and the team's fourth. Ray Offner will step to the free throw line for the Chargers. He is a six foot two sophomore and a 63% free throw shooter. And it's 18-13 as Carbondale narrows the deficit. Well, the success of uh, teams coached by Al Calais, well, that, that is a reflection of his coaching style. He's committed to excellence, attention to detail. He studies countless hours of film to develop a game plan that will give his team the best chance to win against every opponent. And when you play Holy Cross, yeah. you better bring your A game every night. Yeah, they, they'll they'll give you the they'll give you the in-your-face defense every night that they play for sure. Now, Glenn, you take a look at Carbondale as Burrier will give it up, and Mozaleski long wow. three. That was an NBA three. 21-14, the Crusaders. Carbondale, though, looking much better than they did in the Toronto's tournament in that game one semifinal against Mid Valley. They turned the ball over right here. Fast break is on. Burrier can't handle it. Goes out of bounds. Touch last by the Chargers. Holy Cross possession. Yeah, again. Carbondale, though, playing a little better defense and attacking the basket yep. instead of going side to side. Yep, exactly. They, and they have to continue to go to the basket. Pat Benny takes the inbound pass. And this is Mozaleski firing up the shot from the right wing. He's a shooter. You, you have to play him. And it's 23-14 as Carbondale wants a timeout as we go to a break. Napa know how. Napa know how. Your local Napa dealer, Carbondale Auto Parts, has been serving the area for over 38 years with quality automotive replacement parts, tools, and accessories. Experience the Napa know-how difference with great service you've come to know and trust from the staff at Carbondale Auto Parts, your Napa know-how folks. Napa know-how, Napa know-how, Napa know-how, Napa know-how. 48 to play here in the first half, 23-14, Holy Cross leads Carbondale area as the Chargers call the timeout to talk things over. Now Pat Durkin will run the Charger offense. Durkin puts on the brakes, pivots, and throws it away. Looking inside for Offner, Holy Cross takes control. If you're going to throw the ball inside, here's Montefiore with not, a short jumper from the lane. You're not, you're not going to get a good angle if you're trying to throw it into the, to the, to the low post from the point. That is not a good, a good uh, way to play. You've got to throw it in from the, uh, from the wing. It's a ball tipped, and... Holy Cross will have the possession. Kieran Burrier, 5'10 junior guard, inbounds the basketball, and he will get it back from Mozaleski. And good movement in the offense by the Crusaders, and Burrier will launch an outside jumper that's off the back iron. They keep the basketball off the rebound, and now they lose it on a turnover. 
3.51 remaining here in the first half. 25-14, Holy Cross. Great to have you on board tonight for Adams Cable High School basketball. As the Crusaders and the Chargers battle here in the Lackawanna League Division III matchup. That's again, too many forced passes. Yeah. Control to control your actions here. Wow. <laughs> Tyler Mozaleski called for the personal foul. That's his third, team's fifth. Durkin looks to loop it in. Nobody there. Here comes Holy Cross, and they will take it right to the basket, and it's rejected. That was James Calciano going coast to coast with the basketball. Knocked away by Carbondale. That will place Burrier along the left baseline to inbound the ball. It's a shot by Mozaleski from the corner. It rims out. Here's the putback that won't fall by Pat Benny and a whistle. Landon Gabriel in his 12th year as head coach of Carbondale area. And of course, Al Calais. I think he's in his 27th year, Al, or uh, Glenn. He's been here a long time, and he's, he's done and a he's, great job. And he still loves it. Carbondale turns it over. Well, Zach Rock, you can't throw your, you can throw your, uh, your elbow out as the guy's going by. Not out there, <laughs> right in the middle of the floor. Not too, not a, not a great idea there. You Zach. may get away with it in traffic in the yeah. lane, but not out in the open floor. 25-14, the Crusaders as we near three minutes to play in the first half. They are moving the ball real well against Carbondale zone, though. Quick. Calciano. Short, quick keep, passes. Keep the possession for Holy Cross. And now Mike Zazera intercepts a pass. Zazera to the basket, short on the layup. And Mozaleski has the rebound in transition. Here's Burrier out in three-point land. Mozaleski for three. 28-14, Holy Cross. Two and a half well, to play in the first half. Mozaleski has three threes and a two. Somebody better get out there and play them. Now Durkin will battle against Montefort. Durkin on a drive to the basket. Nice strong move by, by Pat Durkin that time. Pat Durkin with a great move to the basket. He is a six foot senior. Second personal foul on Tyler Mozaleski. Seventh team foul. And on the stripe is Pat Durkin. With Carbondale trailing 28 to 16. Durkin is an 80% free throw shooter. Well, Glenn, when you play Holy Cross, uh, they are going to attack the basket. Of course, play that uh, pressure defense. Yeah, Al Calais stresses the fundamentals and will exploit the opponent's weaknesses at every opportunity. And, and they are really moving the basketball against the zone. That's, uh, that's, that's where you're going to get free. They turn it over right here as Zazera will face a double team on the left wing, and now he throws it away. Into the hands of Calciano. Calciano gives it up. Lee Thomas with the basketball wearing number 42, and they will reset it. Here's O'Connor on a drive to the basket. Cut off by Zazera, and O'Connor stepped out of bounds, and the Crusaders turn it over. 143 to play here in the first half. Great to have you with us tonight for Adams Cable High School basketball as Holy Cross holds a 28-17 lead over Carbondale. Jeff Catchmore gives it up to Pat Durkin. They find Ray Offner under the basket, off the glass for a deuce. Tough play, tough play, good shot. 28-19 as the Chargers answer with a basket. Now Holy Cross goes to work. O'Connor will launch a three, got it. 31-19, the Crusaders. They can shoot. They sure can. 
55 to play here in the first half as Mike Cesaro will work on a strolling dribble. Patch Moore couldn't pull the trigger on the three-point attempt. Dirk and Will, short, rebounded by Holy Cross. Here's Burrier giving it up in the corner to, Luke, to Thomas Lee, and the outside shot is good. O'Connor sinks the shot. It's 33-19. From the outside, a three-point attempt won't fall for Carbondale. Thomas Lee with the rebound in transition. Here's Holy Cross with 12 on the clock. Plenty of time for the Crusader offense right here as Calciano will direct traffic with six seconds left. Calciano on a drive to the basket, knocked away by Durkin and a foul. Good penetration that time by uh, Calciano. Personal foul is called on Pat Durkin. That's his first and the team's fifth. And James Calciano is on the stripe. This season he has converted five of seven free throw attempts. And he gives Holy Cross a 34-19 lead. Second shot is off the back iron at the buzzer. The shot rims out by O'Connor. And that will bring us to halftime in today's Lackawanna League Division III matchup with the Holy Cross Crusaders taking a 34-19 lead into the locker room here at halftime as we go to a break. How much bandwidth will satisfy your home's hunger? The average household now uses seven wireless devices a day, including TVs, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. HD streaming and gaming can use large amounts of data and slow down speeds for other users. The more devices you use, the more bandwidth your home needs. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. Get up to 120 megabits per second internet from Adams Cable Service. It's a speed you need to power all your devices. Call today. If you've been dreaming about modernizing your living space, Tom's Floor Shop and Childs is ready to make those dreams a reality. Tom's Floor Shop offers a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, laminate, vinyl, ceramic tile, and professional installation. Style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a personalized touch by Tom's Floor Shop. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. A trip to Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale means you get confidence and peace of mind knowing that your vehicle is repaired by qualified technicians. Jerry's offers brand name tires and wheel alignment, brake service, oil changes, computer diagnostics, and Pennsylvania safety inspection and emissions testing. Call 282-TIRE or visit their website jerrystire at gmail.com. For dependable, efficient service, visit Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. When your car does this. Call us first. Every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. That's the motto at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale. In an accident, remember, it is your car and your choice to choose your repair center. Call Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale, well known for integrity, safety, and craftsmanship. For more information concerning your rights and the 10 things you need to know before having your car repaired, go to their website, bestinsautobody.com. Good luck to all area teams. From Tony, Mike, Jeff, and the staff at Bestins Auto Body and Collision Center, Gordon Avenue, Carbondale. The Gabriel family and the staff at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated of Carbondale send best wishes to our local athletes and teams for a successful season. In your time of need, call 282-1219 for the ultimate in professional service. From Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. 
Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. Napa know how. Napa know how. Your local Napa dealer, Carbondale Auto Parts, has been serving the area for over 38 years with quality automotive replacement parts, tools, and accessories. Experience the Napa know-how difference with great service you've come to know and trust from the staff at Carbondale Auto Parts, your Napa know-how folks. Napa know-how, Napa know-how, Napa know-how, Napa know-how. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team in NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield, online at NJS. NJSGo.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Mike Cesara will look to inbound the basketball. Durkin will come on and take the inbound pass, and Carbondale will set it up. Catchmore goes in the corner to Cesara. They find Durkin on the right wing. Catchmore. Cut off by the Holy Cross defense. Got to get some penetration. Offner on a drive to the basket. Goes up and off the glass. Brooker with the rebound. Jump ball. Holy Cross possession. Now Holy Cross with Burrier. Bringing it across midcourt. Zaleski will take control now. The left hand. Burrier back out near center court to survey the Carbondale defense. On a drive to the basket, running one-hander is good by Mozaleski. 36 to 19. No weak side. Hell, no help for, for after he went by his uh, defender. No help from Carbondale. That's 15 points for Mozaleski in this ball game. As Zazera now will go to work. Catch more double team. Zazera, long three, short. Rebound, Burrier. Jump ball, Carbondale possession. Pat Durkin will put the ball in play for Carbondale. Durkin looking. He was looking for Zazera, and the ball was taken away by Calais. Calais through traffic. They go in the corner to O'Connor from downtown. It won't fall. Good hustle by uh, Mozaleski. Just stepped on the line. And Carbondale now will bring the ball the length of the court, trailing 36 to 19. Zazera, whistle away from the ball and they foul. Leahy O'Connor whistled for the personal. That's his first and the team's first. Durkin to trigger the ball in play. Long pass will go to Offner in traffic. Offner needs help and uh, he will throw he, it away. He's, he's in too much of a hurry to get rid of it. No. Can't panic out there. Now Holy Cross goes to work. Long three by Mozaleski, short on the jump shot. Ray Offner clears for Carbondale. 36-19 with six to play, third quarter, as Mike Cesera will set it up. Offner takes the pass and scores for the Chargers. Ray Offner is a six foot two sophomore. And Glenn's still learning out there yeah, on the floor. he is learning and, the game. He, but that was a great move as he took the pass and it, just it, took it yeah. strong to the basket. Exactly. He's a strong kid. Uh, and quarterback the yep, football sure. team this yeah, he year. Yeah, he did. And I uh, had a chance to talk with Glenn Tonkin today, and Glenn Tonkin said that uh, he coached Ray Offner in Little League. <laughs> and he was a very, very good athlete. 
Yeah, well, he well, he is he was a good, he is a good athlete. He, I don't know if he plays baseball or not. I think I don't know if he run. I don't know if he does anything in the spring, but uh, he is strong and he, he'll get better. There's no doubt. And Mozaleski will flip it to Calais and Ooh, that's Holy Cross block. will be patient offensively and going to the basket with a left hand. They come up short. And once again on a drive to the basket is Leahy O'Connor and a foul. 36 21 your score and O'Connor will be on the strike for Holy Cross. Second personal foul called on Pat Durkin teams first O'Connor on the strike a six foot junior forward shooting at 79 percent this year for the Crusaders. Give Holy Cross a 37 21 lead. Uh, Holy Cross is beating uh, Carbondale off the uh, on the offensive glass. Carbondale doing a little standing around. They got to go box out and get the rebound. 38-21. Holy Cross into Offner. Double team. They'll work it back outside. Durkin draws a crowd. Offner with an open look. Just off the mark. Brooker gets the rebound. He'll kick it back outside. And Zazera will reset it. Zazera defended by Montefiore. Ball rolls out of bounds. Charger possession with 4.38 to play. Third quarter. And Durkin to put the ball in play. Durkin looking. He finds Offner. Durkin gets it back. And Zazera will work it on the near side to catch more. Brooker. Again. They were looking for Brooker. There, there's that pass from the top. There. You can't, you, you can't, there's nothing there. Uh, you have you have two defenders standing on the both blocks, and, and you have to, that has to be a precise pass, and it's it's just not the pass to make. I, it's, Brooker yeah. has to have his hand up high, and you have to lay that and, ball and it's right gotta, in there. And it's got to be perfect. You've got to get it, you got to get an angle to get it in there. Holy Cross almost lost it. They'll keep it going now as Mozaleski with an open look. Shot rolls off the iron. Durkin saves it for Carbondale. Throws it into the hands of Burrier. He'll go to Calais. Calais with a body twisting shot draws the foul. Ray Offner is whistled for his second personal foul in the team's second. And that will place Connor Caleb Calais on the free throw line. Shooting at 70% this year, and he converts to give the Crusaders a 39 21 advantage. And second shot is off the mark. Cesara with the rebound. In transition, the Chargers trying to get something going here. As Cesara will spin on the right lane, he'll push it back outside to catch more. Good defense by Burrier to knock it away. We are making some sloppy, sloppy passes. Very slow and very sloppy. Ill, certainly ill-advised, to say the least. <laughs> Durkin will inbound. Durkin looking, looking, and they get it to Offner. Offner off the glass for two. Well, the sophomore Ray Offner scoring a deuce off the glass, and it's 39-23. Boy, and he that, had to work for that shot. That, 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 that was a good pass, too. I mean, that, that had to be just perfect. Outside shot by O'Connor, rims out, and Brooker clears with the rebound for Carbondale. Chargers with an opportunity to narrow the de deficit right here as Zara will fire up a shot and it won't fall. Calais has it for Holy Cross. In transition, O'Connor right to the basket for a layup. 41-23, and a timeout is called. With 3.04 remaining, timeout by Holy Cross with the Crusaders leading 41-23 here on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Never know how, never know how. Your local Napa dealer, Carbondale Auto Parts, has been serving the area for over 38 years with quality automotive replacement parts, tools, and accessories. Experience the Napa know-how difference with great service you've come to know and trust from the staff at Carbondale Auto Parts, your Napa know-how folks. If 
you've been dreaming about modernizing your living space, Tom's Floor Shop and Childs is ready to make those dreams a reality. Tom's Floor Shop offers a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, laminate, vinyl, ceramic tile, and professional installation. Style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a personalized touch by Tom's Floor Shop. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. Welcome back to the Pete Taronis Gym in Carbondale where we have three minutes and four seconds to play here in quarter number three and Holy Cross leading Carbondale 41 to 23. Al Calais called a timeout to uh, talk things over. Made some uh, changes in the lineup. As Keegan Durkin loses the basketball going the other way on the fast break, Mozaleski will fire the pass out to Burrier, and the shot is good. Pat Benny is in the lineup for Holy Cross. Wearing number 23, a six foot one sophomore. It's 43-23, the Crusaders. Ray Offner up and off the glass, misses. Got to get a better angle. He's going away to go away from the basket on that. Just turn and square your shoulders up. Here's a beautiful pass inside intended for O'Connor. Knocked away. Catchmore in transition for Carbondale. Catchmore double teamed, and there's a reach in called on the Crusaders. No Holy Cross and uh, Al Calais. He's taken teams to the big dance to the state title game three times. Once with uh, Bishop O'Hara, twice with Holy Cross. Last year, they took on Constitution. Oh, and yeah, they, uh, eventually, they get to they get to those uh, charter schools or private schools out of out of the Philadelphia, the city of Philadelphia. Hard to beat them. It sure is, as this pass goes in to Brooker, and he scores. Jaheim Brooker, the six foot four sophomore with a deuce for Carbondale, and it's 43 to 25. Crusaders last year in the state title game took on Constitution, and it was a bad shooting first quarter for Holy Cross as they were outscored by Constitution 20 to four. The end result was Constitution won the, uh, yeah, that was the uh, semifinal game, I should say, 69-64, Glenn. And uh, what a comeback, though, by Holy Cross. They trailed by 21 points at halftime, and they rallied back and almost pulled it off I, I, in, the I, I Eastern, I, in that Eastern semifinal. Well, I remember that. I remember that game. They... Yeah, but if, you, if you play hard, you play defense, uh, you, you're, you're going to you're gonna, you know, make some uh, runs like that. Pat Durkin now will work the Charger offense, trailing 43-25. Zazero with an open look, squared up, rims out. Ball's tipped around. O'Connor keeps it going now for Holy Cross. On the fast break, Calciano will dish it back outside. From the corner, a long three-point attempt won't fall for Calais. And a whistle with 110 remaining here in the third. Patrick Galvin last year in that game against Const Constitution, he had 33 points. 27 of those came in the second half. He tried to rally Holy Cross back. And uh, the Crusaders showed a lot of character in that ball game. This year, a good nucleus of players in that starting five as Durkin goes up with the shot, got his own rebound. Some contact under the basket, no foul. Durkin uh, will step aside from the baseline now, and it will be Keegan Durkin to put the ball in play. And a whistle. And a timeout call by Holy Cross okay. with 52.3 seconds remaining. And we are going to go to a break and return with more Adams Cable High School basketball in a moment. A trip to Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale means you get confidence and peace of mind knowing that your vehicle is repaired by qualified technicians. Jerry's offers brand name tires and wheel alignment, brake service, oil changes, computer diagnostics, and Pennsylvania safety inspection and emissions testing. Call 282-TIRE or visit their website jerrystire at gmail.com. For dependable, efficient service, visit Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Now. 
Back in Carbondale, where we have 52 seconds remaining in the third quarter, and Holy Cross leads Carbondale 43-25. Carbondale works oh, wow, the get basketball around the perimeter. As Durkin will take control. Keegan Durkin now looking inside for Brooker. Brooker with the move, can't get it to fall. Rebound goes to Mozaleski. He'll take a glance up at the clock, and Holy Cross looks like they will play for one. Well, Brooker is uh, is raw, Steve. He's a sophomore. He's got to he's got to he's got to work on his game over the over the summer. He's he's a strong kid, but he's got to learn to get the shot up. Nice and nice. Calais with a pull up jumper from the lane scores with six seconds left. It's 45-25. Carbondale with three on the clock. Zazero will fire up a shot at the buzzer. No good, and that will bring it into quarter number three here in Carbondale in today's Lackawanna League Division Three matchup as Holy Cross leads Carbondale 45 to 25 here on Adams Cable High School Basketball. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team at NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield online at njsco.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. Fourth quarter just getting underway here in Carbondale with the Crusaders leading 45-25. Pat Benny wearing number 23, a sophomore. They look to bounce pass in the lane. It's taken away by Keegan Durkin. Here's Carbondale. Noah Morrow with a cross-court pass to Durkin and a foul. Inbound pass goes to Zach Rock. He tries to fire up the shot, and he draws the personal foul. Tom Montefiore called for his second personal foul in the team's fifth. And on the free throw line is Zach Rock, a six foot two senior forward. He converts, and it's 45 to 26. Second shot off the back iron. Burrier with the rebound. In transition, the Crusaders. Montefiore will give it up. James Calciano will run the offense. Double team near center court. There's a ball tip. Good hustle and defense by Carbondale and Mike Zazera. Yeah, you can't you can't start chasing the ball though because they're, they're, a team like Holy Cross will find the open man. You gotta you gotta be in position. And everybody's got to move at the same time, even though it's a man-to-man, -man and you're going to double team. But, but you got you got to you got to protect. From the corner, long three won't fall for Holy Cross. Carbondale has it. With seven minutes left here in the fourth. Keegan Durkin, right side. Noah Morrow, bounce passing. Cesara with the shot. Basket's good and the foul. Good, that's a good strong move by Mike. 45-28. James Calciano, the 5'10 junior, called for the personal foul. 
That is his second and the team's sixth. Mike Cesera on the stripe will check his numbers tonight. Mike, Mike is uh, one for three from the foul line. He's, he's got three field goals. 45-29 as he converts. Next up for Holy Cross coming up on January 15th, they will host Riverside, while Carbondale will be on the road at Mid Valley. Holy Cross will keep it going. Burrier right to the basket and lays it up. 47 to 29, the Crusaders. Now Keegan Durkin almost lost the basketball, gets it back, double team. Zach Rock up with the shot and scores. Uh, Keegan Dirk was uh, was uh, determined to get that ball inside that time, and he made a nice, good, a good pass and a, a nice uh, conversion by Rock. Good pass, and going for the reverse layup was Burrier, and he's fouled on the play with 5:56 left here in the fourth. Kieran Burrier, 5'10 junior guard, a 68% free throw shooter, rattles it in. 48-31, Holy Cross. Second shot short, Zach Rock with the rebound. In transition, Carbondale with Zazera right to the basket, lays it up and scores. 48-33, and we have a timeout called, I believe, by Carbondale area with 5.44 remaining here in the fourth quarter as the Chargers trail 48-33 as we go to a break. The Gabriel family and the staff at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated of Carbondale send best wishes to our local athletes and teams for a successful season. In your time of need, call 282-1219 for the ultimate in professional service from Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale. When your car does this. Call us first. Every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. That's the motto at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale. In an accident, remember, it is your car and your choice to choose your repair center. Call Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale, well known for integrity, safety, and craftsmanship. For more information concerning your rights and the 10 things you need to know before having your car repaired, go to their website, bestinsautobody.com. Good luck to all area teams. From Tony, Mike, Jeff, and the staff at Bestins Auto Body and Collision Center, Gordon Avenue, Carbondale. 544 to play here in the fourth quarter in Carbondale. Holy Cross leads Carbondale 48-33. Crusaders now attacking the basket, and they get an easy bucket from Leahy O'Connor. Yeah, you got to get back. 50 to 33. Now Carbondale area has Jesse Miller in the ball game. Zach Rock will score from in the lane to make it 50 to 35. Pass will go to Calais, and there's a whistle. We'll wait for the official word. Follow on Miller. Jesse Miller, 5'9", junior guard for Carbondale, wearing number 12, called for the personal foul. Oh, oh, it looked awful good from here. Oh, we have a player down for Carbondale, and this, he went down quickly, and... Uh, he is going to have to be attended to by Eric Larson, the, green, the athletic the trainer. Noah Morrow, maybe? Uh, yes. Yeah. Grabbed his knee. Immediately. Yep. So he will be checked out as we go to a break with 514 to play here in the fourth quarter. Holy Cross up over Carbondale, 50 to 35 here on Adams Cable High School Basketball. 
If you've been dreaming about modernizing your living space, Tom's Floor Shop and Childs is ready to make those dreams a reality. Tom's Floor Shop offers a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, laminate, vinyl, ceramic tile, and professional installation. Style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a personalized touch by Tom's Floor Shop. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. After the injury break, it's 50 to 35. Holy Cross leads Carbondale with 514 to play. In the fourth quarter, Caleb Calais is on the stripe for the Crusaders. Uh, he's two for four from the foul line, Steve. Uh, nice, but he's got nice, nice follow through. Yeah, that good backspin, a, 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 a good shooter's uh, uh, followed through. 52-35 from the corner. This is Miller knocking down a three. Jesse Miller left open in the corner. Drains a three. It's 52-38. Holy Cross around the perimeter. And a pull-up jump shot won't fall for Leahy O'Connor. And a traveling violation is called on yeah. the Crusaders Charger basketball. Well, he came in on the other side of the bank board. He must have been about two feet out of bounds. <laughs> well, the lead is down to 14 right now. For a Holy Cross as uh, Carbondale turns it over. Now Mozaleski will work one-on-one -on -one against Keegan Durkin. And here is Holy Cross working it around the perimeter. Now reach in there is called on Mike Cesera. That was a mugging. <laughs> yes. That's trying to be nice going. <laughs> that was, well, hey, get your hands in there. They don't blow the whistle, you're good. Here's a player having a great night for the Holy Cross Crusaders on the stripe, Tyler Mozaleski. To check his numbers. Well, he had 13 in the first half. This is he's got he's got three presently, and uh, looking for one more. And he's probably a good, probably a 70 percent or better foul shooter, I would assume. Yeah, well, up around 65 percent. When you look at the box scores, you'll always see he's in uh, yeah. usually close to double figures every game. 54-38. As we near four minutes to play in the fourth, Jesse Miller in some traffic will give it up. This is Keegan Durkin knocked away. Keegan Durkin will inbound the basketball for Carbondale. Pass goes to Zach Rock, goes up with the shot and was hacked over the back. Montefiore got a piece of him. That's his third. Rock is playing hard. He always does. Like now, again, another guy didn't have, uh, on a Carbondale team that didn't play much basketball, and, he, and he's, well, I believe he's a senior. Zach Rock, six foot two senior. Uh, you, you, you've got to go through the system, and you've got to get the fundamentals down and get now your it's shooting. Tough to get in, it's tough when you get in the lineup and you have to learn the system quickly, but Zach Rock at six foot two and a senior has done a pretty good job this year for Landon yeah. Gabriel and the Chargers. 54-39, your score, Holy Cross with 4.08 to play. There's a wide open yeah. O'Connor under the basket. Yeah, gotta get back. Have to get back and play yeah. defense, 56-39. Now the Chargers go to work. The 349 remaining. Underneath, Rock up with the shot, draws the foul. See, he does, just doesn't know enough to get in position where he can he can he can uh, score from. He's, he's he's finding himself too far under the bank board. And there's he, nothing you can do. He came out about a two feet. Yeah, exactly. About two feet yeah, right away under, from uh, right on the top the of the, right on the top of the block. Zach Rock converts on the free throw attempt. That is the eighth team foul on Holy Cross. 56 to 40. 
Zach Rock will have another free throw toss on the way and knocks it down. 56 well, he's, 41. He's four for six from the foul line. He's got he's got eight points. All, all in this half. Now with 338 remaining, Holy Cross can become very selective right here with a 56 41 lead. And they will keep the possession. Touch last by the Chargers. They Holy Cross will will move the ball well and they'll 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 make some good passes and try to run some clock here, I'm sure. Burrier looking to get the ball in. And in traffic. Holy Cross loses it. Pat Benny in a lot of traffic. They turn it over. Here's Zazera with an open look. Can't convert. And a whistle. That could have been, that foul could have been any on anybody <laughs> from Carbondale or Holy Cross when they went for that rebound. A lot of bodies which, banging. Which under which the was hook. which is good though. That's that's good. Everybody's they're hustling. Second personal foul on Leahy O'Connor and Ray Offner. Let's check this. Ray Offner is on the stripe and misses. Nearing three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Thanks for joining us for Adams Cable High School basketball. As the Crusaders lead the Chargers 56 to 41. Barrier on a spin move and a blocking foul will be called on Carbondale. Mike Cesaro whistled for the personal. His third. Team's eighth. Kieran Burrier, 5'10 junior, on the stripe for the Crusaders. Short on the free throw. Rebound goes to Jesse Miller. He'll fire it out to Zazera. Keegan Durkin from downtown misses. <laughs> <laughs> Miller's look out there looking like, what did I do? Yeah, I don't really shoved him. If, if he went any further, he would have been on the other side of, the, <laughs> of those mats. <laughs> Second personal foul on Miller. And with 2.45 remaining, we have a timeout call by Carbondale <laughs> as we go to a break. Your local Napa dealer, Carbondale Auto Parts, has been serving the area for over 38 years with quality automotive replacement parts, tools, and accessories. Experience the Napa know-how difference with great service you've come to know and trust from the staff at Carbondale Auto Parts, your Napa know-how folks. A trip to Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale means you get confidence and peace of mind knowing that your vehicle is repaired by qualified technicians. Jerry's offers brand name tires and wheel alignment, brake service, oil changes, computer diagnostics, and Pennsylvania safety inspection and emissions testing. Call 282-TIRE or visit their website jerrystire at gmail.com. For dependable, efficient service, visit Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Two forty-five remaining here in the fourth in this Lackawanna League Division Three matchup between Holy Cross and Carbondale, with the Crusaders leading fifty-six forty-one, and Caleb Calais, a five-nine junior guard, is on the free throw line for the Holy Cross Crusaders. And this free throw rims out. Battle for the ball, and Carbondale will have it. Well, Glenn, you take a look at this uh, Lackawanna League Division Three as we get the numbers out. Could be a real dogfight, as Holy Cross, of course, is the favorite as Offner scores. There's some, there's some teams Mid -Valley, that can put some points Dunmore, on the board. Dunmore, Lakeland. Lakeland, Holy Cross, that was a great ball game, but from what I understand, uh, 
Dupree did not play for Lakeland due to an injury. Yeah, that's what I was told. He had an ankle injury. Has some kind of an injury and did not play in that ball game. So like Al Calais talking with him before the ball game, he said on any given night, teams can pull an upset because it's very competitive in Lackawanna League Division Three action. You've got Holy Cross, Mid Valley, Dunmore, Lakeland. Well, a Carbondale showed that they can play two of the first three games. They, they just, they just actually have to, have to get some consistent yeah, consistency yeah. in that lineup. Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, keep in mind, Landon Gabriel playing, mixing in the seniors with sophomores. Well, Ray Offner coming along nicely. Brooker, a six foot four sophomore. You look, you look here. Still learning. You look here. It, it, it was, it was a killer. It was a killer second quarter that 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 put them, that put them, in the hole, and they could never recover from it. 58-43 as Zazera is fouled on a drive to the basket. They were outscored by by uh, 11, and they had a, a four-point lead. So that gives them a 15-point lead at halftime, and they out, they play relatively even in the third quarter. That's that's the one quarter, but you 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 can't have those quarters if you want to contend. Mike Cesaro with the second free throw shot on the way with Carbondale trailing 58 to 43 and nails it. 58 44 as Holy Cross with 157 remaining. They go to uh, Montefiore wide open for a deuce. 60 to 44 Holy Cross. Now Keegan Durkin will give it up. Ray Offner. Pivots looks for help. Finds Durkin double team jump ball. Carbondale will keep it. Well, see Ray, he's he's, he's pivoting, pivoting. Just just bring the ball out there. Just be patient. You got you got five seconds to get rid of the ball. But of that course. all comes with experience. Yeah, for sure. But if you're if you're uh, one of his teammates, you got to go to the ball. Three second, oh, uh, five second right. violation on Carbondale. They turn it over. You 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 have to you have to come for the ball if you want to get it. You can't stand behind people and expect them to throw it to you. 60 to 44. 130 left. Peleus gives it up. All, all Holy Cross has to do right here is spread it out and they throw it away. Zach Rock has it for Carbondale. Al Calais has the lead, but he's on the sideline not happy well, with the performance. Well, if you get sloppy, it's kind of a game. What are you going to do if you're if you're playing in a in a, a two-point game? game. Yeah, sure. Coast to coast. Here is Burrier and a foul. Yeah, that's Mike's. I think that's Mike Cesaro's fifth. Al Calais, very successful in his career. Over 400 ca career wins. When you talk about success, you're talking about Al Calais. Yeah, he's he's been around a long time. He's had, he's had some really, really good teams and some great players. Sure has. He'll pull the starters out with 103 remaining. At least most of them. He'll keep yeah. a couple of a couple on the floor. In the ball game, Thomas Lee for Holy Cross. As Burrier converts on the free throw. Carl Schuster, a 5'9 senior guard, is in the Holy Cross lineup, wearing number 15. Second shot rims out. Carbondale has it. In transition, they lose it. Lee picks it up and foul called on the play. Yep. Zach Rock whistled for the personal. That's his third as both teams will walk the length of the court. They, uh, well, the game was moving along yep. at a rapid pace, Glenn, but then. 
Both teams have 10 team fouls. Well, you know, if you get, you're playing in a game like this and everybody's up and down running the floor and a lot of, a lot of banging and a lot of, a lot of action. 62-44. Checking into the Holy Cross lineup. Angelo Norella wearing number 20. His free throw is good by Lee. 63-44. With 53 seconds left, here comes Carbondale. A drive to the basket. Keegan Durkin muscles up a shot and draws the foul. Schuster whistled for the personal and the southpaw Keegan Durkin converts 63 to 45 your score Durkin about 85 percent from the line this year it's two for two today final 45 seconds of today's game as the Crusaders will look to spread it out. They almost throw it away with 35 seconds left. They're just going to spread things out right now as Norella will work the basketball and give it up. 23 on the clock. As the fourth quarter is coming to a close with Holy Cross leading 63 to 46. As the clock will wind down and Holy Cross will pick up its eighth overall win to improve its overall mark to eight wins and four losses. They will be 3-0 in Division Three play while Carbondale will fall to 6-6 six and 2-2 six and two and two in league play. Well, Steve, it was, it was the second quarter, the defense in the second quarter, the turnovers from Carbondale and the inability for Carbondale to put some, put some points on the board. Uh, points on the board with you know they they got a little sloppy they had a nice first quarter they had a nice third quarter but that second quarter just put them in the hole that they couldn't recover from and you're going to get that when you get teams that play defense like like Holy Cross does well that first quarter 11 to 7 Holy Cross and then Holy Cross exploded in quarter number two outscoring Carbondale 23 to 12 they led by 15 at halftime 34 19 it was 45 25 at the end of three they win it here tonight by the score of 63 to 46 and that is going to wrap it up here at the Pete Taronis gym in Carbondale thank you so much for joining us for Adams Cable High School basketball and it's all been brought to you by NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield, by McGovern Insurance Agency, Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, by Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center, Tom's Floor Shop, Main Street and Childs, your first step to a beautiful home, by your local Napa Auto Parts store, Carbondale Auto Parts, Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, and your starting lineups presented today by the Roselle Department Store. Your final score once again here in Carbondale, Holy Cross 63 and Carbondale 46. Till next time, so long from the Pete Taromas Gym.